What's up everyone and welcome to Best Car Reviews, I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2024 Subaru Impreza. Here at Best Car Reviews, I strive to bring you the most accurate and relevant information under 10 minutes. There's no misleading and no wasted time. If that's something that's intriguing to you, then please like and subscribe so you can continue to grow the channel. Let's get started. 2024 is bringing the 6th generation of the Impreza. This kind of long-standing family vehicle provides a smaller but more spacious option for those who want that exact thing. And these 2024 designs with these price points will continue to provide a great option for families or individuals who want that exact type of vehicle. And if you're loving the design, then stay tuned because today we're going to go through all the trims and the key details that matter most to you to determine which will be the best bang for your buck. All photos and information in today's video come direct from Subaru or from Car and Driver. Let's dive in. There will be three different trims available to you on the 2024 Impreza, the Base, Sport, and RS. Base starts you off just over 24,000 and the RS starts you off just under 29. So between these three trims, we got about a $5,000 price differentiation. And hopefully that means that there's one here that falls in the exact looks that you want and the price point that you're hoping to find as well. And I think there should be because all three of these are still affordable, even if you opt for that top RS. Engine options for these three, the base and the sport will bring you a two liter flat four boxer engine from Subaru, 152 horsepower, 145 pound-feet of torque, not the quickest, but also, you know, this isn't meant to be a car that's going to get you uh, 0 to 60 in 4 seconds. The RS, though, will bring you a little more speed and with a different engine, the 2.5 liter flat 4 boxer, 182 horsepower, 178 pound-feet of torque. So, you will get a little extra kick, you will be able to go a little quicker from the stoplight if you go from that RS, but it's really, 30 horsepower is not going to be that much of a difference. Both these are paired with a CVT transmission. Drivetrain, you get Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive, which is a great touch. Subaru is very proud of their all-wheel drive system, provides you some great traction. MPGs for that smaller 2 liter, you get 30 in the city, 34 highway, and barely any difference if you opt for the 2.5 liter with 29 city and 33 highway. We're going to look through the pictures now that have been released by Subaru of this Impreza while we go through some of the features. This is a total redesign for 2024, like I said, 6th generation. This is a 5-door hatchback design. So you get a little more room over a regular sedan with that trunk space. Um, standard roof crossbar mounting points for the 2024, which is great if you want to also store things on top of your Impreza. You get a larger fuel tank for 2024 as well at 16.6 .6 gallons. This is about 3 gallons more than the 2023's. New Oasis Pearl Blue Color available for the Sport and RS models. As you can see in these pictures, it's a very nice color blue. Fog lamps are available, which is a great touch, especially on these smaller cars. It's nice to have that extra light. The RS is the top dog in the new, and is new for 2024 in the trim ladder. As we mentioned in the chart, it has its own larger engine, as well as a sport-tuned suspension and unique in exterior and interior characteristics, such as 18-inch alloy wheels that are unique, black front grille, side skirts, heated mirrors, and adaptive LED headlights. And these new adaptive lights basically are going to adjust their aim as you turn. The sport trim will give you impressive and attractive looks as well on a different theme with its more chrome accents and silver wheel setup. And of course, we can't forget the most important ingredient in these Subarus is love because we all know love is what makes Subaru a Subaru. But anyway, the best bang for your buck in my opinion is the sport trim. The RS isn't much more impressive. Uh, with the bigger engine but doesn't increase power enough for me to justify the price jump and considering the sport is stylish i would still stick with that you also get features on the interior that the base doesn't have when you opt for the sport trim which we will get to in a second we'll go through the interior now that has been released by subaru this is mostly the rs setup uh, this has like i said all that's been released but we'll still go through all the touches that you can get on any of them this is all new design on the interior as well, obviously. Very sharp look in my opinion, especially for these price points. The base trim gets you a 7 inch touchscreen, but if you go for the Sport or RS models, you get a new 11.6 inch infotainment screen setup. So significantly larger if you go for those top two trims. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Standard. This is also next to a clear and easy to read digital driver's gauge cluster. There's also available wireless charging pad. Keyless access with push button start is also available. Power sunroof is available. Also, a 10 speaker, 432 watt equivalent Harman Kardon premium audio system. 
The RS gets aluminum alloy pedal covers and a premium sport cloth interior with red accents and contrast stitching. As I mentioned earlier, we're getting more room with the hatchback. You can get up to 120.9 cubic feet of space on the interior, which is higher than a couple of its competitors, such as the Corolla. Enhanced EyeSight driver's assist technology, uh, which is Subaru's you know, kind of safety setup. Very well done, although it's said to beep at you constantly with different alerts. It is beneficial to at least have the option, though, of many driver's assist technology and safety features. Overall, a very stylish interior and totally adequate for what you get for the money. This Impreza is an impressive car for these price points. In review, guys, I think this Impreza is very easily overlooked on the roads. You know, it's kind of small. It's not overly flashy, but it comes at an affordable price. Gives you extra room over kind of a regular sedan with that hatchback setup. And it can definitely provide you and your family a comfortable ride for not shelling out $40,000 even $30 plus thousand dollars. This is a very affordable vehicle. Subaru is in a phase right now where they're redesigning a lot of their lineup. So they kind of all match each other and I think their overall design styling right now is very well done. So it's not like you're sacrificing looks due to spending less money. And even if you want to opt for that RS and get the top trim, you're still spending under $30,000. So you can get those kind of peak looks and still not be spending lots and lots of money. So. Hope this video laid things out in a clear way for you guys. Thank you for watching this best car review. Please subscribe if you have not already. If you have any ideas for future reviews, please drop them in the comments and I'll see what I can do. And I'll catch you on the next best car review.